everybody, thanks for checking in. You know, it's been a couple of years since I've done a uh, water filtration video, so I thought I would do an update uh, since we've got a lot of new technology out there, or relatively new technology, and I've got some new toys to show you. So, um, uh, thought I'd start, start with where we left off. Uh, if you're like me, uh, probably a good 90% uh, of you out there use something like this, a hand pump water filtration device. In this case, this is the MSR MiniWorks EX, probably the best selling hand filtration pump out there and it, uh, it's probably been around for a better part of 20 years. Uh, designs have changed a little bit but for the most part uh, it's a foolproof design and uh, Cascade Designs who owns MSR uh, has sold very well with this product and uh, it's been my basic go-to device and I've liked this one a lot for a lot of different reasons. So about four years ago, MSR, who's owned by Cascade Designs, for those of you who aren't familiar with Cascade Designs, uh, they are the parent company uh, who owns a lot of different brands, one of which is uh, MSR. Uh, and uh, MSR, well, obviously we know for the water filters. We know them for tents like the Hubba Hubbas. We know them for Platypus, for making the, the, the dromedary type bags, another product I'll show you in a minute and uh, Thermarest, the Thermarest sleeping pad. So it's a great company, been around since the early 70s. But about four years ago, uh, they came out with the, uh, the new uh, uh, Hyperflow microfilter. Now, this was a totally new design. Obviously, you know, it's much smaller than an MSR Mini Works. Uh, totally different technology. It uses um, hollow core fiber technology which filters down to 0.2 microns, identical to the ceramic filter on the uh, MiniWorks EX, uh, but it flows a lot faster and it's a smaller design um, and it's uh, you know much lighter. So uh, obviously there is no charcoal or carbon filter in this thing. So you're getting you know you're not going to get the filtration of things like odors. Uh, taste and those kind of things. Although it will do some, but you know that if you're if, if it needs that carbon filter, it doesn't have that in this. Now it's not to say you couldn't add something in line, and we'll talk about that in just a bit. But this came out. Basically, it's a pretty simple device. They give you a little cap that fits. If you if you need to fill up a wide mouth Nalgene bottle, it fills up fits right on top of there, and you can leave it on. It's got a little clip on top that you just pull these little clips. It comes right off. And this guy that has another little cap on it right here comes off and they're designed to just fit right into these things and snap in and now they're locked in place. Now you've got another tube that comes with that and I used this tube just a second ago. Sorry I got all tangled up there. And uh, again it's got a big wide pre-filter on the front. Now this is designed to float face down in the water. Uh, I've, just, I've learned that you really kind of make, got to make sure that thing is definitely face down and you almost maybe sometimes have to weight it down a little bit because it will draw air. So that's a little bit of a, I don't know, a design flaw or whatever, but uh, it's designed to float right on the surface and, you know, get in that water so you're not like getting down into, if you're like in really shallow pools of water, you know, you can get it floating right on the surface. If it's right on the back, like this, you pull it in, you'll start seeing this cavity start filling it with water. So you'll pump a few times and each time it'll fill up. Now that's almost completely full. Now it's filtering water already. And, I've, and I figured out uh, through my own pumping, they say it does about three liters a minute versus a liter a minute for the MSR Mini Works. And sure enough, in about 20 strokes, uh, or about uh, 20 seconds, or about a third of the time, I filled up a liter in here. And so it's very fast. If you're, you know, I like this because it gives you something good to hang on to. You know, but if you don't have that, you can hold it just like this, you know, and you can pump. Uh, if you've got, an, again, another, another tube, like it doesn't have one with it, but let's say you had another tube, it would fit right onto here, onto that nipple, and then you could pump, again, down into another bag. So, uh, so that's MSR's uh, Hyperflow using the hollow core fiber technology. All right, so the last product I'm going to talk about, and it's probably one of my new favorite devices, and I'll tell you why in just a few minutes. Uh, but this is the Platypus Gravity Works product. Uh, Platypus Gravity Works, or their, uh, I think like their Sweet Stream, or whatever they, they call it, which is a, basically it's a bag system where you hang a bag, filter, drains another bag. Um, they've had that out for a while. Again, like I said, Cascade Designs as well, just on their, their other bland, brand, excuse me, Platypus. Um, and, uh, but the update they made to this one is where they each had just a plain filter in the middle. Now they've got 
a hollow core fiber filter that goes in the middle of that. And uh, one of the things uh, that I really like about this system is, is basically two, th uh, two things I like about this system are, number one, this, the, uh, the ease of use, uh, and number two is the amount of water that you can filter and carry with you. Uh, so let's talk about that real quick. All right, so most of you are probably have seen these hanging type bags or these, these filtration type bags, but it's pretty straightforward, and so it's a, it's a pretty straightforward system, really easy to use. One of the nice things about it is, is that you've got these extremely durable bags, you know, but when they're not being used, I mean, they're just flat and they weigh nothing. You just tuck them away, and the only other thing in the system is the hollow core fiber filter and a bunch of tubing, which is all can just be, you know, folded up, and it goes into a nice little small bag, and everything, once it's all wadded up inside the bag, is probably about the same size as the MSR Mini Works, but it probably weighs about half as much. Um, so the, what, I, what I like about this is, is the following. Number one uh, is the amount of water and the ease of use that, happen, that, that, uh, that it takes to do one of these things. So one of these bags uh, holds four liters of, of water. And they give you two bags and they mark them very plainly so you don't ever get confused. They mark them dirty and they mark them clean. And they actually have different kind of ends, so you won't get confused. And we'll talk a little about what these little ends are for in a second. So how this works is you take the dirty bag, and it's got these, this, the dirty bag has got a big Ziploc, and I mean a really heavy-duty Ziploc on the front pouch on it. Now this is designed that you can take it, you know, get it down into the water, you know, or hold it underneath a stream and, you know, trickle or hang it, you know, get it filled up. Um, you know, here, um, I've just got a bucket out here, so what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm just going to take one of these and just fill it up here and just take it that's two that's three that's four and it must have been a little short because that's really only about three right there it must have been short on one there we go four liters of water so four of these guys in one of these bags, and you take it, and they say zip to shut, uh, zip shut to secure. It's actually more like a squeeze, and you can feel it snap shut on those zippers on the top there, just like a really good strong Ziploc bag. And it says invert to test, turn it upside down, and of course it's all really strong. So then you take it and you just hang it. Now if you don't have a place to hang it, you just got to get this elevated over the drain bag. Is all you have to do is have a rock or a you know log or something, just something just to get them uh, different height. But I'll hang this one here. And it's got this little quick lock connector over here. So how this works is, is you take this little guy right here, and it even tells you on here, flow, so you know which way this thing flows. It's got a little short piece here, and it's got this really simple quick lock connector. You just take it, and it's going to snap in there. It's going to flow through here, and it's going to eventually screw into this and drain into the bag. It's got this little, uh, and, I, and I would imagine they got this almost from the hospitals, because they it's this little quick little uh, thing here with you can just take it squeeze it and it locks and it shuts off the flow so if you need to change something out or stop the flow from happening maybe you're just trying to use this to you know fill up a cup or wash your hands you basically have a faucet here and you're closing this thing off and on but I'll close it off for a second I'll come over here and I'll snap it in it just pushes and you can go click and it snaps and then the other end over here is just going to screw into the clean bag it's got a cap on the end, and that screws off. And I would say I'd tell uh, Cascade Designs, figure out a way to make this cap secured, like with a tab, to this bag so you don't lose it. Because if you lose this cap, you are you know you can still use this, but you can't carry it. So it's kind of a pain. So don't lose this cap. So we'll set that aside for just a second, not losing it. And this guy then just screws right on to the top here. So screws onto the top. Just leave it, just leave it laying flat. And then just open it up the flow. And the minute I open up the flow, I can see water already starting to run down through the system here. Now, what it tells you to do is, is to do is is to back flush this filter for a couple of reasons. One is to get the air out of the system. So, and it'll because it'll flow a lot better once you get the air out of the system. And two is that just to kind of, if you've got any kind of residue in there, just kind of back flush it for a second to help you know free it up. So it doesn't take a lot. And this thing flows pretty fast. This thing says it flows, it'll flow these four liters in about two and a half minutes. Now that's probably cleanish water. I'm mean, gonna imagine if you had really dirty water, it would take a little bit longer. 
But the beauty of it here is I'm not doing anything but standing here. And in about two and a half minutes, or just about a minute or two longer than it will take me to pump, I'm going to get four liters of clean water in here without having to do anything strenuous like sitting here pumping over a stream or something. I can hang this up, walk away, go do something else. So we've got, a plenty, we've got enough water in there. All it takes is just a few ounces. So they tell you just kind of roll this up a little bit and get some pressure on this. Get it back up above this, squeeze. You'll see the bubbles come back, come back up out of that. And that means that you've got all the air out of the line. Roll it back up or back out, lay it back flat and let it go. And off it runs. And I actually meant to start my clock and I forgot to do that. But just for simplicity here, I will open that up and say start. So this won't be an exact uh, scientific test, but I'll let that run. So we're going to go on here and I'm going to let this flow and I'll actually cut here and I'll cut back in just a second so you don't waste your time watching. So I'm watching over here and the last of the water is just running out and according to my timer we are at two minutes and 45 seconds. So it took about 15 seconds longer than they said to drain four liters but I actually had it up past four liters a little bit so the two and a half minutes is probably within the ballpark. So when you're done with this, you can just squeeze it to stop it if you want. Come over here, take that off, get the cap that you didn't lose, and put that back on there. It's got a handy handle, so then you can walk back up to the camp and hang this back up. You can put this back on the line here and undo this and just use it to fill with this little control and just fill bottles as needed or you know cook with it or whatever and it's hanging up. You can actually even shower with it. Makes it really nice. Here's the other nice thing. Here I got four liters of water. That's four times as much water as is in one of my Nalgene bottles. And what I can do is if I'm down at the water source, probably some, you know, some distance from camp, I'll fill my dirty bag back up with another four liters of water and I'll take it with me. So now I'm walking back up to camp. I got four of dirty and four of clean. When I empty out the clean bag, I'll hook up the four liters of dirty and filter that. I'll have four more liters. So basically a couple of gallons, I can take a couple of gallons of water right back up to my campsite with me. That is outstanding. Also, they've made this one a little bit more durable. These things are like these spongy, foamy looking things on here. So that was a concern that people had when this first came out and still is. This is hard plastic. And that carbon, that hollow uh, core fiber in there is, uh, is somewhat fragile. They tell you to not to drop this thing more than about, I guess, like a meter or three feet uh, because it could shatter that. Likewise, it could freeze and shatter. So it's kind of, you know, they've kind of made this somewhat rubbery, but not really. Um, so this is a concern. If this sort of drop and shatter, you're out of luck. Whereas this guy right here, uh, they've made it where it's really durable. You know, it'll, it's protected and those kind of things. Uh, if you were to break this, it's about 50 bucks to replace one of these. Uh, but again, unlike, uh, you know, you don't have to go replace all your whole system. So they made it very, uh, you know, very uh, flexible, easy to use. So um, I'm gonna do another test at, at a future date where I actually take some dirty water, run through here and show you this, but I wanted to give you this quick update and show you what this looked like today. So again, I appreciate it, thanks for watching, and uh, good backpacking.